Hello friends, welcome back to the subject electromagnetic field theory. In the last two videos, we have solved two problems based on to the semiconductors, especially to calculate the conductivity in the germanium or silicon semiconductor material. Now, in the topic semiconductors and dielectric materials, we have checked the conductivity possibility for semiconductors and dielectric materials. For dielectric materials, we have gone through the terms of polarization, dipole moment, the relative permittivity of the medium. So based on to the relations of electric field intensity, electric flux density, then the polarization, dipole moment, the relative electric permittivity of the medium. Let us solve problem number three. So here we have the problem statement. A certain homogeneous slab of dielectric material is characterized by an electric susceptibility given by 0.12 and carries a uniform electric flux density of 1.6 nanocoulomb per meter square. We are asked to find mod of E bar, mod of P bar and in part C average dipole moment if there are 2 into 10 to the power 19 dipoles per meter cube. To read the problem statement, what information we give? Uh, we are given that electric susceptibility is 0 0.12. Okay. Now, the elect uniform electric flux density is also with us that is 1.6 nanocoulomb per meter square. Now, we are asked to find mod of E bar, mod of P bar and average dipole moment. So, first of all, I note down the given data. The given data for this problem is D is equal to 1.6 nanocoulomb per meter square. D represents electric flux density. Basically, it is a vector as we are given only the magnitude that is 1.6 nanocoulomb per meter square for a uniform electric flux density. I simply noted d is equal to 1.6 nanocoulomb per meter square that means 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 9 coulomb per meter square. The second given data is electric susceptibility given by 0 0.12 that also I note down 0 0.12. Now in part a we are asked to find mod of E bar. E bar represents electric field intensity so we are required to find magnitude of electric field intensity so here we will be using the relationship of electric field intensity with the electric flux density and electric susceptibility of the medium so that relationship is what we have seen d is equal to in bracket 1 plus susceptibility of the medium into epsilon 0 times capital e here all the magnitudes are only the considerations. If vector you have to consideration, you should put bar over the D bar and E bar. Now D is also with us. Electric susceptibility is also with us. Epsilon 0 constant value we know. So we are required to find E here. So E from this formula will imply equal to capital D upon in the denominator all these goes that is 1 plus electric susceptibility into epsilon 0. So we shall be substituting the value of D that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 upon in the denominator we have 1 plus in bracket that is 0 0.12 and epsilon 0 value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 in farads per meter. You can either take 1 upon 36 pi into 10 to the power minus 9 farad per meter. So upon simple multiplication, addition and division, E value we obtain capital E value that is 161.3475. As this is simply the magnitude, I put mod of E bar here. So no concern of direction and it is electric field intensity magnitude hence I put the unit volts per meter. So this is the required answer for part A. 
this was the problem statement we were asked to find mod of e bar that we have found with value mod of e bar is equal to 161.3475 in volts per meter now let us concentrate on part b in part b we are asked to find mod of capital p bar which is magnitude of the polarization into the uniform or homogeneous dielectric material with the given details so for finding the magnitude of polarization we will be using the relation of polarization with electric field intensity that relationship is given by this formula it is polarization is product of electric susceptibility into the dielectric constant epsilon 0 for free space into the electric field intensity we are asked only the magnitude hence i put mod over here electric susceptibility constant values epsilon 0 constant values the magnitude of electric field intensity now in the previous part that is part a we have solved for the electric field intensity magnitude for the given dielectric hence I put that answer in place of this mod of E bar. So to the next step we get 0 0.12 into epsilon 0 value, 8.854 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 in multiplication with the magnitude. In multiplication with the magnitude of E bar will be 1 161.3475. So this simple multiplication will give us mod of p bar is equal to 171.4285 and this is in 10 raised to the power minus 12 that is why I write pico coulomb per meter square. So this is the required answer for part b. This is the problem statement. So we are solved with part A for magnitude of electric field intensity and for part B that is magnitude of polarization term for the given dielectric. Now let us concentrate on the part C. We are asked to find average dipole moment if there are 2 into 10 to the power 19 dipoles per meter cube. So kind of atomic concentration is given to us for the dipoles. So using these details let us begin to solve for part C. In part C, we denote the atomic dipole concentration by small n. Small n will be 2 into 10 to the power plus 19 dipoles per meter cube. Now we are asked to find average dipole moment. Dipole moment we represent with small p bar and small p bar is given the product of charge magnitude into the distance of separation between the positive and negative equivalent charges. So here for the polarization term it is actually capital P bar and given by n times q d bar with respect to the volume v we can say. So simply here we can write the average average dipole moment small p average uh, will be given by the polarization magnitude divided by n that is dipole concentration. So here we put the answer of part b that is 171.4285 as it was pico we put 10 to the power minus 12 in the numerator and in the denominator we have the concentration 2 into 10 to the power 19. So this gives us the value the average dipole moment uh, value that is 8.54 into 10 to the power minus 30 it will be coulomb meter q into d so it will be coulomb meter. So this is the required answer for part C. So this way we are covered with the determination of magnitude of electric field intensity, the magnitude of the polarization and the magnitude of 
average dipole moment for the given details for the dielectric material. I hope you have understood well. So for more getting information on electromagnetic field theory, you can subscribe to EGDA channel. Thank you.